All right, we know that in today's fast-paced world, it's uh, very, very difficult to make a second impression, so we give everyone a chance to make a first impression by getting to know them, especially our guest artist, over a 60-second rapid-fire series of questions. And right now, Valdo Grief is in the studio, ladies and gentlemen! Woo! Great to have you, sir. Thanks, Katrecho. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. All right, start the clock. If you could invite three celebrities for dinner, who would they be? Oprah Winfrey, um, my mother, <laughs> and Carrie Underwood. Which artist would you love to see live? Live, Carrie Underwood. Your favorite South African musician? Uh, Tara Lam. Oh, live by the beach? Would you rather have a cabin in the woods? Beach. Your most used app on your phone? Uh, <laughs> probably Google Maps. <laughs> favorite meal? Favorite meal, uh, milk tart. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, croissant. The one thing most people don't know about you? To know about me? Um, I'm pretty introverted. If you could trade lives with one person for a day, who would it be? One person for a day, probably Max Martin. He's a songwriter. If you won the lotto, what would be, what would be your first purchase? I would build a music school. Early mornings or late nights? Late nights. Celebrity crush? Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> one thing you, you're really bad at. Bad at? Uh, <laughs> Texting Carrie Underwood. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> the first thing you notice about someone that you meet? Um, their smile. A smile. So, Kerry Underwood, you're a real fan. I am, yeah. I'm kind of like, like sweating here, just bringing that name up. I mean, the, the amount of times you did say Kerry Underwood in that interview is kind of scary, but that's yeah. cool. <laughs> well, she's <laughs> awesome. Free some coffee. Thanks, Thank you, princess. Thanks, princess. All right, so you've worked successfully with uh, some of South Africa's biggest artists. I mean, you've written for Kurt Darren. You've written for the Soweto Gospel Choir, Grammy Award winning Soweto Gospel Choir. T tell me about what, what it is about the, the songwriting process and the kind of songs that you produce that make people like them so much. How does it work for you? Um, I think it's just writing music that comes from the heart yeah. and sometimes uh, music has a specific theme or a concept or a story to tell and so I'll just write this song that might fit into their genre of music. Yeah, and you kind of channel into their energy and what they for do. For sure, you have to, like what yeah. they're about, their vibe, their voice, yeah. and then um, they just like it, I suppose. Yeah. And you do it rather successfully for them and also for yourself. I mean, Thank your you. own Thank song you. that you've penned called Ons Heis is Hier mm -hmm. has been uh, put into the brand new edition of the FRK song bundle. That's it, yeah. And that's legendary stuff. You, you, it is. I don't think people yeah. understand what it takes to get your music in there, so... Yeah, when I got the email, I, I was pretty shocked. I was like, I think you're emailing the wrong person. It can't be me. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. How proud does that make you feel? No, it's amazing. I think as songwriters specifically, people uh, are usually underrated. Because usually it's all about the vocalists and not the people behind the scenes. So it's pretty cool to be recognized for your songwriting. Yeah, yeah. man. And clearly you're very passionate also about teaching you. When I asked you about what would be the first thing you do with a lot of money, you said build a music school. Yeah. And you are teaching music right now, but not yeah. here on home soil. No. All the way in Qatar. In the Middle East, that's it, yeah. I've been there for about three years now. Um, I taught music previously in South Africa and Pretoria, where I'm from, and now I'm in the Middle East. And it's just amazing to teach little kids music, uh, especially in the Middle East, where in their culture music sometimes is not allowed. So it's a very wow. new thing for them to get music. And I have parents that have come to me and said, I'm so happy to have you as my child's teacher because they've never been exposed to music. And wow. it's just an amazing thing. Yeah. That's extraordinary. Yeah. So what about for yourself? What are you planning in the near future? In the near future, um, probably just writing as much music as I can, try yeah. to write for as many people as I can, uh -huh. and then hopefully open a music school one day. Well, I hope that that happens. That, that lotto better come around pretty soon. Yeah. It's great to have you here and can't wait to hear your music. That's Ladies Thanks. and gentlemen, Valdo Greif is in the studio! Yeah!